A few colorful items mark the spot of a dark crime. This is where 33-year-old Hillary Acton was shot to death early Monday morning. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Neighbor Tamberla Bryant heard arguing, then five to six gunshots before moving her children to a back bedroom. I mean, whatever she had, it was not worth her life. And I just, I don't understand. Police say the robbery and homicide on East Street was what they describe as a rarity in Indianapolis, a random act of violence. The suspect and our victims did not know each other and that this uh, robbery was a street robbery in which our suspects decided to open fire on one of our victims and ultimately killed her. Three other shootings involving a total of four victims over the past two days are what police say is more typical, acquaintances who in an instant transform into suspect and victim. Most of these were not random acts. Most of these shootings involved individuals that ultimately knew each other. So that uh, that's concerning to us that people don't have the skills to defuse situations without using firearms. I think it's so sad. Tamberla, still stunned by the violence, practically at her doorstep, is hoping at least her children will learn that opening fire is no way to settle a dispute. I don't want me or my kids to be near any kind of violence. And that kind of behavior, it has to stop. And I don't want them to be a part of it or learn that behavior. And police say they are making progress and have solid leads in the murder of Hillary Acton. One reason for that, they say neighbors and witnesses are providing critical information that is helping police. And as you know, that isn't always the case. So this is certainly some good news as far as that. The public helping, the community helping, which police say they always need. Yes, yeah, see something, say something. Absolutely. All right, yep. thanks, Jeremy. Mm -hmm.